Over the past year, almost every home across Ireland has been affected by the recession. Words like banks, mortgages, NAMA and unemployment have been clogging up our TV screens. As each and every one of us struggles to come to terms with our newfound economic hardship. But there's one recession buzzword you might not have heard as often over the past 12 months. Burglaries. Just before 4am, it's believed two men broke into a house on Templeview Row in Clare Hall. The men were armed with a knife and a hammer. Early this month, Gardaí issued a warning that the number of bogus traders and house callers was on the increase. This type of crime is seen as particularly despicable, since it often preys on the weak and elderly in society. With the downturn in full swing, theft is spiralling upwards. Over the course of 2009, burglaries increased in 20 out of 28 Garda divisions across the country. The nation's black spot is officially South Dublin, with nearly 1,300 burglary offences reported in the first nine months of 2009. North Dublin has proven almost as fruitful for crooks, with theft increasing by 17% in the same period. The recession may have rendered your wallet a little lighter, but just be thankful you've still got one. Certainly the recession is uh, a key factor in the uh, explosion of uh, petty crime regarding burglaries and uh, muggings and assaults on the person. Tonight on Ireland's crime capitals, we go behind the stats and speak to the real people who have suffered at the hands of thieves. I looked at him and he looked at me. I don't know whether he was surprised or not. I couldn't tell you. But it didn't affect me. Whatever he did that job, he had to know me and he had to know my place. With your home, it's so personal. You wouldn't like anybody in your home. You'll do anything to keep them out of your home, really. We hear how con men are dressing up as council workers, entering people's homes and then stealing whatever they can find. If someone goes to your door and says about, I'm from the waterworks, can I go in and um, have a look? Like most people, especially if it's in the daytime, people take that as being truthful. And we look at the latest state-of-the-art technology being employed in homes to protect dwellers against intruders. Also tonight on Crime Capitals, from security in the home to security at 30,000 feet. We report on safety at Irish airports. Could small landing strips be a gateway for drugs into Ireland? There are some situations where uh, private airports uh, receive very little in terms of visits from the agents of the state or the security forces, uh, namely Garda Síochána, Customs or Excise. And we report on how a massive blunder by the Slovak authorities allowed an innocent man to carry explosive material straight through arrivals at Dublin Airport.